Welcome to the demonstration video of the Resources to City Explorer. Resources to City Explorer is a user interface in virtual reality that can load different storage media as a walkable interactive city. In this video, we use a directory structure with 200 files to demonstrate the functionality of our Explorer. After the user has selected the storage medium he wants to load, the algorithm must read it first to get all the necessary information about it. The information is stored in an additional data structure. Now the city can be built. Each file, except shortcuts, is displayed as a floor of a building. Up to 50 files in the same folder are combined into one skyscraper and sorted by size. More than 50 files in the same folder are divided into several buildings. The user can move freely in the city with the help of the controllers. There are several ways to teleport from one point to another quickly. Longer streets have interactive arrows that lead the user to the referenced intersection when interacting. By pointing and clicking on the ground, it is possible to teleport to any location in the city. For better orientation and teleportation to places in the city that are not visible from the current position due to buildings, the Explorer has been equipped with a minimap. It can be faded in by the controller and has the usual interactions, such as zoom and scrolling. The arrangement of the city is determined by the Voronoi algorithm. The algorithm expects a set of points on a two-dimensional surface and divides them into smaller areas so that each point has its own region. The points for the algorithm are the buildings of the city whose position on the x-axis depends on the creation date and on the z-axis on the last modification date of the files. The division of the axis can be varied dynamically. The regions of the city are separated by roads and the buildings have the shape of their own region. Accordingly, folders are districts with a number of skyscrapers depending on the folder content and an administrative building as a placeholder. This placeholder is needed to give the folder a certain position in the city since there can also be empty folders. Administrative buildings are marked with a folder icon. For better orientation, all corresponding areas of the currently entered folder are marked in blue. By clicking on any point in the minimap, the user is moved to the selected location in the city. Resources to City Explorer has a wide range of tools to display information. First, there is visual feedback by highlighting when a floor of a building is focused. Information about the file is also displayed on the heads-up display. The floors themselves Show the type of file with an icon and for text files or images, a preview of the content if the surface of the floor has enough space. When pointing to a text preview, the text can be scrolled through with the controller. The Explorer uses DDC categorization to determine the category of text files. This is realized by the text imager. Categorized files, for example floors, are colored according to the assigned category. Clicking a color icon hides or recolors all files in the city that belong to the selected category. To find data easily, the Explorer also has a search function. The search window can be opened via the smartwatch menu. The name filter lets the search check all file and folder names for matches. The category filter can be used to search for text files of the specified category. A successful search creates a search object in the form of an interactive cube that draws a link line to each result when held in the hand. By clicking on a line, the user is teleported to the location of the file. By pointing and clicking on a building or a floor, the selection can be visualized in a portable hollow projector. This projector displays a thumbnail of the selected item and can be expanded by tapping. The window on the left shows data above the selected element and on the right a preview is displayed. To copy or move files to another folder, the holo projector must be placed in the appropriate socket of the file operation console. The console is a freely placeable element of the explorer and always refers to the folder in which the user is currently located. The information button displays the name of the folder if required. When a holo project is placed in the socket, additional interaction options appear on the console. An operation is initially only performed on the storage medium, as this changes the structure of the city. 
For this reason, an exclamation mark appears above the console after the file operation has been performed, informing the user of the changes that have been made and giving him the opportunity to rebuild the city. Buildings, meaning folders that contain shortcut files, have a portal door. The door is interactive and the portal displays the currently selected linked file. If there is more than one shortcut in the same building, the user can switch between them at the door. A click on the portal gives the linked file to the user and teleports him to the location of the file as he walks through the door. Thanks to Förderfond Lehre for supporting this project and thanks for watching.